But back to what Coach Sampson said regarding the private jet, the net jet hours account. It's not, he has to, from what I've been told, he has to make calls ahead of time to, to make sure he has, make sure it's understood he needs to be at spot X at a certain time. He has to clear it, basically, these skills, what I'm trying to say. He has to clear it, go through all these, these steps, procedures to make sure fo- that it's on the books, on the docket. Okay, coach, we can take care. All these hoops. Whereas if D skills just come out of that, come out of his pocket, that cool quarter million dollars annually, coach gets to do it on his own. <laughs> you know, just fly, make the call. I need the plan. I need to be at spot X tomorrow at eight. We're ready, coach. Pick you up at whatever. See you there. Quarter million dollars annually is roughly what he needs annually. Listen to what I said. To me, that's a hell of a lot of money. Hell of a lot. But a quarter million dollars. Every Big 12 school, especially the ones who have been in the Big 12 for years, or in the case of Arizona and Arizona State, been in the Pac-12 for years, Utah as well, been on the power level, power conference level, so they have that power conference money. But they also think and act like a power conference school. skill says it here. You wait is so minor league. And he's an alum. I'm an alum. So when I say this, and I'm and it's a fine line, because I'm not trying to come across as arrogant. Trust me, I don't know everything. Trust me on that. I got numerous examples to, to, that prove that. But when I say that UH is a power for is in a power for conference, but still behaves like an NAI program sometimes, this is another example of it. The small time thinking that has gone on for years still is an anchor on the program. This is part of it. I'm still waiting on the full share, Big 12 shares, but the mentality going back to customer service. Customer service is not expensive, should not be expensive. It should not, it does not cost a lot to treat your customers well. And with with respect, Miss Wanda, if she still watches, she can give examples of how she has not been treated well as a customer. You don't need a lot of money to do that. You don't, you don't need a lot of money to put on a good presentation when you are joining the Big 12. You don't need a lot of money to have a legit toast on social media. The thinking has been slow and backwards and antiquated. That's why, you know, I'm proud to work with Andy Yanez and Dayon, but saluting Andy for meeting a demand in the Less Rage Cougs postgame show. We were just kicking around talking about it, and he's like, you know, we don't have, there's not a postgame show in town for college sports, for Houston. So he took it upon himself to make Less Rage Cougs what it is. And he's worked his butt off to help it grow. We could do a whole lot more, but we've done a lot with less. We like to do a lot with a lot. UH for years has done less with a lot of, a lot more than some of the other schools in town. It's just not the way to behave as a power program in big time athletics. This is this is big boy sports. You need to act like it, work like it, think like it. Kelvin Sampson, he won't be around forever, but he's trying to do his part to bring 
UH to Power Conference Athletics. Because like he said, this is his 14th year in the Big 12. So he's, he's used to things being a certain way on a power conference level. So he knows what he's talking about. 